Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Chopbox Studios. I'm your host, CJ, and today we've got another little different type of a video for those of you who do watch a lot of anime reactions. Today we've got more of a gaming type of video. Yes, I'm starting to do gaming videos because the last trailer reaction slash breakdown I did was pretty well received. So every now and then I'll do a couple gaming videos, but I'll mostly be doing reactions. So do not worry, there will still be reactions. And who knows, maybe some days I'll do an actual regular reaction and a gaming video, who knows. Today I'm gonna be doing my personal take on the latest roadmap that we have just gotten from Fallout 76. Now, a lot of people don't like Fallout 76 and you know, it, it's not for everybody. Of course. Me, personally, I actually enjoy the game. Well, I used to enjoy the game. I put a ton of hours into that game, and I've played it ever since launch. So, I've been there from the start, and I know where it came from, and what it's been through already. But today, we're going to be talking about the brand new roadmap that just came out, which I was excited for, but we'll get into the finer details right at this very moment. As people know, this game has had so many bugs, but honestly, in my opinion, I don't have to worry too much about the bugs because they haven't been um, as bad as before. And I've played this game, well, I both played on console and on PC, so I did get to experience both different types of like platforms and how they act within coordinates to this actual game. So I will say, obviously, PC is gonna run a lot better than console. Um, and I've had people test the PS5 for me because I don't own a PS5, but I had people test the numbers for that and I've seen that. I've even seen footage of it. It's not too bad, but it's not good enough. And PS4 and the consoles before that, oh my God, forget it. It is just a choppy mess that is still to this day, very choppy frame wise, but not a lot of bugs in terms of um, glitches and whatnot. But either way, we're gonna get into this. So we've got the roadmap here. So we're gonna be starting with the very first DLC now. Um, and that one is coming out in spring this year. So I assume somewhere around maybe March, May, maybe April. Like, I don't really know obviously the exact date because they don't give you the exact date here. But just know it is in spring and it is called The Invaders from Beyond. Now, this was supposed to come out last year of 2021 at the end of the year uh, towards December instead of the Mothman Cold event. The Mothman Cold event should have been out way before Christmas. It was supposed to come out, I think, November-ish or somewhere around there. I don't remember. I think it was October, actually. It was somewhere around there, basically. And that was supposed to be the third DLC for last year, but instead they made the third DLC the final DLC for last year and skipped out on Invaders. So we kind of got three DLCs instead of four last year. So I hope that doesn't happen again because, man, that really put the nail in the coffin for me. That's why I stopped playing because, again, and this isn't a normal review or breakdown or anything like that. There's a couple personal opinions mixed in with the game and how it could better itself and maybe some suggestive ideas so we're gonna get into that right now but as you can see here the first one invaders from beyond it says save appalachia from an otherworldly all-encompassing invasion including public event takeovers new random encounters and a seasonal public event and much much more so they claim the reason why i stopped playing like i said um for those of you who have played for a long time or from start that are high levels just like me, and there's people even out there that are way beyond that level, like 600 and higher, I'm only like 200. So for those of you who are high level players, you know that after you beat everything, unless you're a big like diehard fan and you love, love, love Fallout and that's all you play, you know there's no content after getting that specific level. After you do all the in-game content, especially the main storyline, everything becomes dull and repetitive and i don't know if that's just my opinion if it is then so be it but in my opinion it just got so dull it got repetitive and like me personally i don't like to see so many events like i like events don't get me wrong and they're cool but it's not enough to say you know we're gonna give you a new event every like three or four months it does it shouldn't take three to four months and i know i sound like i'm a little spoiled but it shouldn't take two to three four or four months to make a freaking event. Like, I, I'm i waiting here for three months just for an event, my guy. Events should just be coming out every month. Every month you should have an event. And then every four months or every like even six months, do it just like ESO does. Come out with a DLC, a big DLC. 
that is what players want they want to go to other lands they want to go to places that might even be familiar like we're near the freaking land of fallout 3 why aren't we going near there and i know this takes place beforehand but still we could see what happened before the events of fallout 3 you see what i'm saying like that's a cool story to tell i don't know if it's just me that thinks like that if it is so be it but if you think like that leave a comment with some ideas on what you would want to see but now let's get into this first part right so the first part obviously we got the new public event the new public event is supposed to be a whole entire event that has to do with aliens or so i assume because obviously as you see here in the uh front cover right here there is a ufo picking up a brahmin and there's an alien standing next to the guy with power armor and whatnot judging by this picture i assume we might be getting a new type of power armor from that event because as you can see in the front of it we have this big brawlic type of dude the armor he's wearing almost resembles power armor so to me that looks like a potential power armor but i'm not 100 percent sure again everything i say here is not 100 percent guaranteed unless i think so but that armor definitely looks like a type of power armor and if not it would be kind of bummish because i personally would love to wear some new power armor even though i don't use a lot of power armor one second car coming even though i don't use a lot of power armor i do like to collect it and display it so it'd be cool to collect this kind of power armor and get it on display and then as you see on the right here there's also a type of robot or something it looks like a flying like type of like levitating robot i don't remember seeing this kind of creature anywhere in any fallout game so maybe there might be a new mob or enemy that would be nice because i personally love new content like that so we'll see about that but basically it looks like it's going to be about aliens the zeta aliens are by the looks of it going to come by in the freaking ufo and abduct things and maybe you have to stop them from abducting things or maybe you have to stop them from abducting brahmins or something maybe what would be cool in this event is if you yourself get abducted into the shit first even a split second just to fight like a boss or something that would actually be really cool to me that would actually be worth the wait in my opinion it brings back some nostalgia from fallout 3 the first dlc you know what i'm talking about man I want to see some of that nostalgia. That's what brings players in, man. For the new players, you've got tons of content. For us, we need that content. We're being starved, man. Earthlings, you may call me Homer. As you can see, our homeland is being attacked. Those brainwave siphons must be destroyed. As a prerequisite, we need to lure out the alien commanders who control the force fields on the siphons. While extracting brainwaves, the siphons emit periodic energy pulses. You may want to avoid them if you can. But then, of course, we also have the Fallout Worlds update, which honestly, in my opinion, I don't know what it is yet, obviously, so I can't judge it, but I don't care about Fallout Worlds. And I can safely assume that a lot, not all, but a lot of players feel the same way. Fallout Worlds, in my opinion, was a, a, just a waste of of resources in my opinion because it's literally just private worlds that you can change the settings on the fact is if even if you change the settings to have fun you can't even pr cross progress you can't even like even if you want to like loot stuff from that world like a nuka cola or something you can't even do that and then they say you can um build anywhere you want i don't know about you but i can't necessarily build every single place i want to and on top of that i still have a budget like that's kind of annoying to me. I thought I was going to have a private world where I could just build as much as I want, just like creative mode in Minecraft. That's what I thought, but that's not the case. So I don't really know why they did that. To me, it was a waste of resources. I don't know what this update's about. Hopefully it's something cool. Something that a lot of people really wanted to see was mod capability for private worlds in at least PC Fallout because... 
I mean, I'm on board with that because honestly, mods are like one of the only things that can really save this game in terms of content, or at least like hold players off from wanting and demanding the actual content. You know what I mean? Again, you have like Fallout 3, Fallout 4, Fallout New Vegas. All three of those games have mod capabilities. So even if you beat it, you if you like the mod, you can mod the game and have a whole completely new experience. And let me tell you, the modders in this community are insane. In any community, as a matter of fact, a lot of modders honestly do better jobs than the actual interns sometimes. And that's kind of sad, but Again, that's just my personal opinion. And then obviously we have season eight, A Better Life Underground. So judging by that title, I feel like it might have to do with something that has to do with like maybe vaults underground or maybe shelters, something like that. That's the only thing I can think of, but I'm not too sure about that as well because obviously the roadmap is very vague and I'm not a data miner. So I don't get all this freaking data and cheat sheet stuff and all that. So I wouldn't know too much about what it actually is or what it's gonna be right but judging by the title like i said it has to obviously do with something underground i'm gonna guess and say maybe it has to do with shelters or vaults that's the one that's the two things that i have in my head that might go down moving on we get to the summer uh dlc and honestly in my opinion judging by the looks of this i don't think the summer dlc is gonna be all that great let me just tell you that because it, i feel like it's gonna be a little you know because it says here there's not much in the bio first of all but it says test your metal put your armor weapons and grit to the test in multiple new heart pounding public events again with the god dang public events I'm tired of it. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of tired of it. And it almost seems like an, an excuse to not do like big freaking projects or anything. Like it seems like an excuse to not use their actual resources or to use resources somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because at this point, events, like I said, are not going to last for freaking multiple months. It's only going to last that one day, if even a week, if you're lucky. The replayability of an event only goes so far and then even if it's a limited event which is kind of dumb in my opinion if it is limited then they just keep bringing them back just like fashion at like it's kind of annoying i don't know about you but i'm tired of that as an excuse oh here's a public event here's a public event here's a public event i don't want that personally i would take even just the smallest little new section of a map or something like just something new something fresh even new enemies or something Bring back the centaurs from freaking Fallout New Vegas, those nasty little things that the super mutants uh, were teaming up with. Bring back freaking, like, geckos. Like, there's a whole bunch of different types of creatures you can bring back, and there's a whole different bunch of type of creatures that you can actually create as well. Like, there's endless possibilities with this game, and it's like they don't take the initiative to actually fulfill that freaking request. I don't get it. But moving on, we have here, obviously, the new public event. I don't know what it's going to be about. It looks like it has to do with something on the water. It looks like a fortress. Maybe you have to swim to the island without getting blown up by the robot or something and, and then take it over or something like that. That's the only thing I'm getting from this because, again, he's on an island. Obviously, it's a fortress that's freaking protected with spikes and all that. And then there's a, a sentry bot that's just standing there. And then we have Fallout First scoreboard upgrades. Now, I this is pretty vague. The only thing I can think of is you get better rewards than before because honestly, and that's good because honestly, the past seasons are just like, even I had Fallout First. I had Fallout First for like, like since freaking launch or since the launch of Fallout First, since they made Fallout First, that's when I had it. And I never ever stopped it until last year. So I've had Fall First the whole way through, and let me tell you, in some instances, it is worth it for like the unlimited scrap storage because I personally love to build, so that's worth it. Um, the fast travel tent is pretty helpful if you don't want to pay for fast travel. You can have it somewhere that you go often, like the nuke zone or whatever. That's always helpful, but the rest of it really isn't. I mean, the rewards they gave us from the Atom Shop in terms of Fallout First rewards is just freaking trash. The la the latest reward, this is why I canceled it, was a freaking rusty filing cabinet. Who the hell wants a rusty filing cabinet for paying, what was it, like $12 a month? 
Why would I want a rusty filing cabinet, especially when you already gave me a clean filing cabinet? I don't get that. So that's why I canceled it, because that was just BS. And then I can see from this that, obviously, and I saw it firsthand in the scoreboard, the extra rewards were always just trash. It was like, oh, here's a scrap kit. Oh, here's a freaking lunchbox. Oh, here's some caps. It's like, no, nah, that's not enough, my guy. You need to either give me some new furniture or some new buildables or something like that. I mean, I'll take caps, but the amount of caps they give you is freaking unrealistic. They're like, here's 100 caps. It's like, no, you should give me 1,000 caps. That would be better. And I know it sounds far-fetched or I sound greedy, but it's like, you know in this game everything is expensive or overpriced when it comes to caps. Especially in the Adam shop when it comes to real money, everything in this game is overpriced. And you know that's a fact. So the least they can do is at least give us more better rewards and that's a good thing that they actually are taking the initiative to do that however i don't think it should be in one of the big updates i think that should just be an update by itself that shouldn't even be considered a big update because that's just a quality of life improvement you know what i mean that's not like oh you took months to make this new content it's amazing like no that's just a simple update that i'm sure anybody can do within a month so that doesn't that's not that hard to do and you know what it is? I think that this game needs some more resources or more people or even maybe new staff to that freaking degree because I feel like this group is either understaffed or they just don't know what the heck they're doing. It's one of the two and that needs to be fixed because this game needs some damn love. I mean, look at ESO. ESO is massive and look how many updates and freaking DLCs they came out with. Sure, it wasn't great at launch, but look how big it is now. This is what that game needs to be. It's just not happening. And that's the problem. And then it says here, season nine, stay tuned. Like, that's just an excuse. Okay, stay tuned for season nine because season nine is going to come out in the next freaking update. So basically what they're saying is the first half of the year, you're going to have only one season. And the second half of the year, you're going to have three seasons or something like that or two seasons because there's others in there. Again, I don't want to blame them directly right now because i don't know their situation obviously and i don't know how it is to be a freaking game developer so i can't really judge them in that sense but i'm just giving my opinion and things that they can maybe fix or ideas that maybe they can implement even though they won't see this video next up we have the fall expeditions and this is what i was waiting for or i was excited for when they first showed the trailer to this I was super excited for this, and I was like, no way, we're going to be able to go to the pit, which is near the freaking Fallout 3 universe right there, because it's in Philly. I was so happy, I was like, bro, we're going to go there, it's going to be a whole new freaking like map, and we're going to be able to explore it, but no, judging by this, and again, it's not for sure, obviously, but judging by this, it says introducing missions. You know that what that means is, okay. You get one daily mission, you go out into the pit, you complete the mission, and then you come back to the freaking Appalachia, and you don't never get to go back there until the next mission. So what I get from that basically is, you go into one small little freaking section of the map, complete your mission, don't get to explore the rest of the map, and then go back to Appalachia, and then have to go back to freaking the pit via missions. I don't like that. I think you should freely be able to explore the whole entire pit and then go back whenever the hell you want. And there's freaking loot and everything just like Appalachia has. It should be a separate zone. But they're not going to do that. I can already tell. It's going to be another daily ops. And I personally, like, I know, again, it sounds like I'm being so freaking greedy or, like, not appreciative of what they're doing. Like, yeah, we're getting new content, but it's not the content that I want or need. I can already tell it's not going to last long. Like, hell yeah, I'm going to play it. But... I can already tell when I'm done playing these expansions for the time I waited, it's not worth that freaking time. You know what I mean? Like, I wasted my time waiting for all these just to freaking play one day of expansions. Like, that, to me, sucks. I want it like Fallout 4, man. I would much rather wait a whole year to get one big DLC at the end of the year instead of four little DLCs. I would rather do that. So that's what I think missions are going to be, but... Who knows, obviously, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe you could freaking explore the whole entire pit. Who knows? But that's what I would like, personally, because, I mean, 
it's a no-brainer you need some content man especially for the high level players and then obviously said new rewards now this reward is weird because it looks like a cement saw like a futuristic cement saw and obviously in the picture above you can see that the guy is holding it it's a futuristic like cement saw if if that's the only freaking piece of loot that you get from this mission no 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 i'm gonna be done with this game i'm telling you i'm gonna freaking delete it because that is bs you should have i want new armor set at least a new melee weapon one new gun at least and that's i'm happy with that that's how it should be do not give me just freaking one weapon and be like all right you're good that's it and then obviously it says season 10 stay tuned so again delaying the freaking season so basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna have season eight in spring that's gonna carry all the way through summer as well you're gonna get season nine in fall that's gonna carry all the way through december and then you're gonna get season 10 which is supposed to be in fall all the way next year at the beginning i already see it and then season 11 is gonna be freaking the summer one next year so i don't i don't know why they do that i don't think it's that hard because i mean if fortnite can do it and all these other companies can do battle passes like that i can't it can't be that hard to make a battle pass like it can't be i don't know obviously because i'm not in their shoes but man they'd be taking forever to make seasons and then last but not least we have the winter nuka world on tour update at first when i looked at it like the quick glance i was i was excited for it. i was like oh crap they're gonna bring back nuka world could you imagine nope it says nuka world on tour and then get this the fizziest show on earth has kicked the irradiated dust off the tires and hit the road aka they're traveling and then it says next stop appalachia why bring them to appalachia why not bring appalachia to nuka world my guy that's what you should do even if you have to use the nuka world from fallout 4 as a like a template do it do it like i would match i would much rather take that than this crap because i already can tell you what's gonna happen and again I, this this video sounds like a hate video and it's really not it's just my take on it there's gonna be a new public event apparently now judging by that what i can see is there's obviously a cappy in the background with a shotgun and the bottle with the freaking rockets shooting and it looks like they're kind of in a circus. Then you have a Mr. Handy here with a, like, it looks like a wizard kind of outfit maybe or something like that. Because he's got the pointy hat. Um, he's got some hair, it looks like maybe, on the uh, ball part. And he's wearing like a skirt or a gown or something. So it kind of looks like a wizard type of thing. And he has a shish kebab. Obviously, it's going to be an event inside of a tent or circus whatever and you're gonna fight a bunch of mascots slash robots from nuka world inside the tent it's gonna be like a new like circus thing oh we came from nuka world blah, blah, blah. and it's like it's cool don't get me wrong it's cool but again the replayability it's all about replayability keeping your players attention keeping retention that's what it's all about okay you can't just put out an event once again and just have it freaking last one day and be done with it that's not enough, my guy. Again, I'm not gonna freaking judge this whole video. I can't judge it quite yet until I see or get my eyes on it. But again, I hope that's not the case. It says here we finally get another region boss. So that means we're probably gonna be in another type of region. We've already had the red region taken by the Scorch Queen. And then we have the upper mountain region or the middle mountain region. You know what I mean? That was made, that was taken by the Wendigo Colossus. And now, I don't know where these people are going to be, but I assume either, I'm going to guess, maybe up toward the water park area, or it's going to be down toward the ashy, like, ash heap area. But I feel like it'd be more toward, like, the water park-ish area to me, but... I don't know, obviously. So it'd be cool, though, to get a new region boss. So I'm excited for that. Maybe we get something. I don't know what it would be, actually, unless it's some big old robot of some sort. And then last but not least, season 11, stay tuned. So again, that's going to be next year at the second half of the year next year. So that's when you're going to get that season. Overall, the roadmap doesn't look horrible in terms of what they're trying to do or convey. I like that they have different like themes that I like. I like how they have an alien theme, a robot theme, some freaking like pit theme, and then the Nuka World theme. Like those are all completely different themes, and I like that. 
but again we need more content for replayability that's what we need add something like dungeons add something like another zone some new creatures maybe multiple events instead of one event like three events i don't know do something like that new weapons new systems like i love the quality of life improvements those are amazing when they come out but those should be coming out normally as you make bigger dlcs that's how it should be in my opinion again i can't blame the studio because maybe bethesda themselves like the head of the corporate just doesn't want to give them the resources for that so they can't deal with, they can't make what they want to because they don't have the budget for it maybe that's what it is i have no idea all i know is this game needs some new replayable content some fresh content something that both rewards players and keeps players attached and zoned in like david yops was okay that was a decent version of doing that, and people do it every now and then, but I don't know how I really feel about that. I think it's completely different from like having a d uh, dungeon from ESO, where people have to play certain roles or something like that. I think that's a lot better, in my opinion, and I think it's more replayable than Daily Ops, because Daily Ops, you, you just do one simple mission. Not only are you timed, but there's modifiers um, for the actual enemies, and I don't have a problem with that. It's a cool uh, concept, but it's not as replayable as I would want it to be personally. There's so much potential for this game. It just upsets me that it's not getting to that point. It's been like four to five years, man. And there still isn't no new zone. It's the same new map. And majority of the time, it's just the same old crap. After you beat the campaign missions and all that, it's the same crap. And it's just so boring. The only reason why I played it last year for the last like few months was because I was building stuff. The building is fun. I don't really know what's gonna go on with this game. I can only hope that I am wrong about this. I really do hope I'm wrong because I really want this game to pop off. I love the, the concept of this game and I love that it is multiplayer because I do like MMOs. Um, I just think they need that content, you know? That's, what is, that's what's starving these players right now especially high level players like me i i just feel so bored like doing the same scorch queen event or wendigo colossus event at this like doing that crap freaking i don't even know like 20 times a day is so boring and repetitive would you want to sit behind your desk watching the same video 20 times a day would you want to do that let me just say that's how it feels okay like that's why we need some freaking fresh content, okay? And there's a lot of things we can do with this. But again, I don't know what the problem is with the studio. It's either budget issues or the staff just doesn't know what they're doing. It's one of the two. So if you guys are excited for this roadmap and you think it's gonna be good or you have some ideas of what it should be like, leave a comment below because honestly, I would love to talk more about this. I would love to hear your different ideas or different concepts of what you would have in mind or what they should add later in the future. I would love to hear it. So make sure you leave a comment below. If you guys enjoy this video and you want to see some more trailer reactions slash breakdowns, Make sure you leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe right now to become a butcher today. Helps out the channel a ton. Helps out me make more videos for you guys. So please, please, please make sure you got that bell ring to stay notified for some more trailer reactions and breakdowns. Till then, I will see you guys in the next reaction slash breakdown. Peace.